Hi guys, I have a question for you. What does Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus have that inner planets don't? That's right, let's call the planetary ring. But how are planetary rings formed? That is the mystery. Is it just a CD that we use in our daily lives? Or does a ring have a certain theory of how it is made? Many many years ago, lots of scientists were expecting for only Saturn to have a ring on it. However, recently, they have discovered that Neptune, Uranus, and Jupiter also had rings around it. But how are they made? Well, I don't know. How should I know? The reason why I'm saying that is because there are a lot of theories about how the rings were made. However, many people are still in scientific research, so there are only theories and no exact evidences. The basic theory is that in order to have a planetary ring, the planet needs to somehow have a gravitational pull. Because the gravitational pull depends on its mass and overall size, so only those certain mass and sizes that meet the certain ratio have the proper environment for a ring formation. It's like a puzzle. To be more specific, let's talk about Saturn. Like other big gas giants, Saturn's rings are made out of dust, particles, and ice, and these materials are most likely to be trapped by their gravity. The rings actually appear in Saturn because of the wavelength of the light reflected by these rings of their wrists. Recently, Robin Canop, an American astrophysicist, has made the most reliable theory proposing that the rings on Saturn are icy remnants from the bygone moon. When the solar system was formed 4.5 billion years ago, one of the Saturn's largest moons formed too close to the planet and made a stable orbit. Then, the moon started spiraling inward, the gravity tore off the outer icy part of Saturn and have formed it into a ring. However, 10,000 years after, the moon's rocky core has crashed into Saturn and became crumbled like a car accident. The Robin theory has been a very supportive theory for many scientists that have been struggling with their evidences. For example, a scientist named Larry Esposito have been struggling to prove why the rings are so icy, however, Robin's theory has supported the idea. Even though many theories and inf inferences have been discovered, it might not be actually true. Therefore, the research is constantly going on for an, e for an exact evidence, but for the time being, while those rocky moons remain uncountable, the mystery of Saturn's rings continues.